Hello, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first visit, I hope you enjoy it. If you've been before, thank you very much for your support and for your views, it means so much to me. But in this video today, we are looking for autumn fungi. And what you will see in this video is how I find or when I find good examples of the fungi, how I approach photographing them, looking for the angles, the lighting that I'm looking for, and with fungi, excuse me, what I often do is focus stack. So I'll take you through that, or the thought process behind it, the, the, the actual technical side of it, it's, it's relatively easy the hard bits in Photoshop and I say a hard bit because it's the blending of the images but in this woodland I found a few examples that I'll, I'll show you in the video all right hope you enjoy it let's get on with it just got into the woodland got everything set up um, it's still quite green in here I don't know if you can see behind me, up here we've got birch, oak, a lot of bracken. It's still quite green though. But what I have found is this, and I'm just about to go up to it and get a better composition and photograph that fungi, if indeed it's, it's a good example, because that's often the case. You need to look for good examples, not half eaten ones, half rotten ones, where they've been rain damaged. And hard to find a good example, but let's go and have a look. Um, of note, as usual, macro lens is in the house. So, be shown today, luckily, me 100 400 millimeter lens is close focusing. So let's go and have a look. A bit closer to it now. Um, I'm going to look for a better angle. Just so you can see. I'll bring you down this way. There you go. You can see the bracket fungi that's on this stump is a tarot. But this particular yellow one, I'll have to find the species, I'm not sure. Looks quite nice. You can see it's very wet, so I'm going to put a polarizer on to take the glare off. Let's find the right angle and get that shot. Well, there's my first composition. Now, I've took it with and without the polarizer, so you can see the difference. Um, I'm not liking the bright area on the right hand side though, so I'm just going to move around and see what it looks like. Now then, there's the next shot, and I quite like that. I am. Um, unsure about the fern because it's moving in the breeze as with the last shot so what I've done here with this one is I've actually taken four shots focus stacked and I'll just show you on the back of the camera so what I've done is I've manually focused and then I've used the focus magnification to make sure it's exactly right before taking the shot as I say taking four shots focused in separate areas I'm not even sure if four is going to be enough but we'll see and there's my third image now what I've done with this one and I like this one the best the backlit I'm not sure what it's going to look like I've taken three shots at different focusing positions with the intention of focus stacking in Photoshop afterwards. I'm just going to have another look at it though. I really like this. I like the, the composition. I love the backlight and I want to make sure that I'm, I'm getting the most out of this situation. So I'm going to take my time, slow down. I'm not going to rush. I'm going to see what else I can do with this by looking around and just moving angles 
ever so slightly. I've just stopped to show you this and it's, it's, it's funny how you get changeable light conditions. When I stopped on a spot of this leaf, the light, the sun was behind the clouds, the light was lovely and muted and I just getting lined up to take the image and the sun came out and if you look at that now it's ruined at the moment with the harsh light and there we are that's the image with now the light's gone in see how that makes a much better image the soft light again i focus stacked it found on a piece of rotten birch is this and i'll just take in and show you Now, I am absolutely hopeless at fungi identification. So, I will put it up for you when I show you the shot. I've already taken the shot, and I have taken a moment while I put me, me mat down to nail on. These are a godsend, these mats. Stop me getting a wet knee or a wet backside. I have taken two shots one focused at the front and one focused here and I'll focus stack them there's a load more in there look and I'll show you because I wanted to get down low you can see here how I've had to set my tripod up just to be able to get a low angle. Now I'm hoping for some backlighting while I'm shooting this. this. It's very overgrown. There's a little bit of backlight coming through on the overgrown stuff that's furthest away. That 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 I'm focused on now, the light's not reaching it. But let's see. See what I'm going to hang about a bit and see if the light actually does. See if it improves any. Okay, for this shot because it's really in the deep shadows. I've done a three shot again to focus stack. Not convinced that's enough though. I might have had to do many, many more to get every little cap in focus, but we'll see. I'll put it up for you and see what, what you think. So I'm gonna have a look along and see if I can find another fungi to be able to photograph in perhaps better light. Well, tell you what this turned out to be a red letter day for fungi and sorry I'm just trying to get that cap right there we go so I'm set up let's see might have to just come back a bit play with the angle hey set up there and what I've set up for have a look at this have a look at that one there and you'll be able to see it better on the camera so again that looks lovely on the stump but what I'm going to do with that one again is I'm going to do focus stack so one moment I'll just show you what it looks like on the cam camera back of the camera so at the moment that's still recording just so you can see what that is and I really like that that's looking very nice indeed might play with the competition competition <laughs> excuse me the composition a little bit but we'll see now what I'm gonna do just gonna stop recording switch that back into manual mode now what I want is my histogram up first because my exposure I base on the histogram as you can see and what I don't want to do is clip any highlights so expose as far to the right as I can without clipping the highlights. What's that giving me? 1.6 seconds, F14, ISO 100. So we'll do several focus points at that. 
just want to check everything's in sharp focus starting there and let's get it done well I just started that series of photographs focus stacking and the light went so that is better but I've had to start again with my exposures because they went from 1.6 seconds to 3.2 so again I've taken about 10 now with this one it's what I've done that's important to remember when your foreground is important not just the subject but the foreground surrounding it like the, the front of the stump in this case I've made sure I've taken two or three shots focusing on the stump so we can get everything sharp or at least that's the plan also today I want to show you a little item that I find invaluable you'll have seen me use it before it's a sit mat and does what it says on the tin it's not 100% waterproof but it's a little padded mat and it's invaluable if you need to get to a low angle you can put this on the ground and nail down um, or sit down or dependent if you need to rest on something rest your elbow on something rather than a hard rock cheap as chips this was just cost a few pounds and I'm going to get another one a waterproof version fully waterproof version but I try not to leave home without it it's always in the car that goes in my pocket it's eating no meat carries no weight and first time you have to nail down a bit of mud you'll f or damp vegetation as I have done today I've still got clean and dry knees so paid, paid for itself over and over again <laughs> 